Well guys, we have made it to our first stretch of stream we're gonna try today. I'm not too far off of the highway. It's a little bit of hike down in here. I don't think people are gonna fish this a lot. But in Wyoming, we have four subspecies of cutthroat trout and there's a cut slam where if you get all of them in native streams, um, you complete the slam. This one is one of very few streams on the eastern side of the Bighorn Mountains that has Yellowstone cutthroat, which is the native cutthroat, uh, according to their mapper. It doesn't look blown out. Looks like a fun little stream to fish, so we'll probably fish this for an hour or two, and if nothing's going on, we can head up, and I know for sure we can get to a spot and catch Snake River cuts, which are not native, and it, well, not the native strain of cutthroat, um, but are, are stocked, and you can catch a lot of 15-inch fish, but this looks pretty awesome. Let's get rigged up and uh, let's start fishing. There we go. It's a decent one. It's a little Yellowstone. That is so cool. Let's see if we can get him out. In the sun. Come on. We'll switch hands here. Oh, there he goes. There we go. Maybe the biggest one yet. There's our native cutthroat, the Yellowstone. Another nice one. And the current, dude, these little guys can put up a fight. Pretty awesome. Here we go. Come here, buddy. Absolutely beautiful, guys. I don't know how much more of the fishing I'm gonna film. You get the point, I'm gonna be catching a lot of these for a good chunk of the day, but um, I guess until this battery dies, we'll keep fishing in this pool. And uh, I think I'm getting bit. Um, I guess we'll keep fishing until this battery dies. Oops, sorry. And then, um, we'll just bring you along if I catch any big ones. This probably is going to be one of the better pools, I'd guess, but. What an awesome place to fish, guys. This is just incredible. I just love this terrain, man. It's so cool. We're not even that far off the road. It's not like this is a difficult spot to access, but we are gonna do our probably probably about 15 minute hike out of here. So we're downstream, but uh, it's unreal to be back up in the mountains. It feels good. It's kind of spin rain and the sun. It's kind of weird, but Let's see where we. Uh, but we can't get at the next site.
Well guys, good morning. It uh about seven. So get to sleep in a little bit. Now not too many people in their camp have the pow well, I guess actually big campers. I guess when people are camping like this, out of a truck or tent, they typically don't have the ability to flip a switch and make coffee with a coffee maker. But it's nice. Um we'll get a little fire going, have breakfast, and uh get fishing. It randomly rained last night. There's some lightning and stuff too. Came out of nowhere, but not bad, not bad at all. So another beautiful day. Yeah. Get a fire going. It's a little chilly this morning. As we're here at the uh, access point on the stream, there's already a moose down there, so I got to keep that in mind. I think I'm gonna head that way to fish. And all these willows are thick, and they hide me and the moose. Um, and we don't want to push it. I got within like five yards of a cow and a calf pair last year. Uh, don't want to do that and then you're not gonna be able to see on the top of this ridge There's a cow elk up there. At least I think it's a cow It's tough to see if it has de started developing antlers or not on top of this ridge So who knows what other wildlife might be around fish But looks like she's pretty muddy and high, but like I said, I think we'll still be able to get on fish Probably won't be as efficient as last time because we won't be able to sight fish, but we're still gonna get on fish today. I'm not too worried about it. So let's get uh, let's get rigged up. Guys, just caught a nice cutty right along this bank here. I actually thought it was a snag first and barely hooked into him and lost him. But um, we're actually gonna eat him, so I'm gonna try not to lose him. Come on. Guess we can put him up on the shore if we're gonna eat him. Just a. Solid fish. Oh. Can't tell if I got hit, that was just bottom. There's one. There we go. Little cutty. I think we can just bring him in by hand. Get him up here. Let him go. So, as expected, I think these fish are gonna be holding in these side eddies here, guys. Ripping current, high flows, but this is a nice little refuge for them. There's some undercut banks and stuff, so. It's where the first two fish came from, and I expect that to be a pattern throughout the day. There we go. That fish was on right away, guys. Wow. Try to bring him back to an another nice cut throw. Oh yeah, another nice fish, beautiful fish though. Nice, I thought it was snagged because right when I put tension on that line, he was on it. I think we're starting to get on some fish. This, is, this was the plan for today, this is awesome. That's a better one. <laughs> what do we got? Rainbow? Alright guys, nice fish. Prefer a cut, but... Oh, getting bit. Jesus. That guy just ran downstream. Oh my god, another rainbow. Crazy guy. I maybe heard thunder, guys. I'm not 
Not for sure, but there's definitely some clouds rolling in and it gets pretty gnarly out here quick, but thankfully I don't think it would too, be too long of a hike if we rush to get back to the truck if we start hearing thunder. Well guys, we have our trout dinner here. We got our three fillets, so half of the fish. So we'll get two dinners out of it. We got some rice, and broccoli, fish, and butter. Should be pretty good. Let's find a good spot to eat though. Move my chair. Fish is already good, I already tried it, but quite the view, huh? Say the grass is pretty green out here. This glass is past full, baby. Cheers to you and me, to life and dreams, to all the little simple things. Like this little piece of land that we're on right now. If it gets any better, hell, I don't know how. So, if Uncle Sam goes and steals my money. Good with a spoonful of your sweet honey Now we sit in pretty and rich on love, love, love If the rain won't stop and the sun don't shine Hit a tough spot, baby, we'll be fine You and my arms is all I need Just a little bit of your love It's more than enough for me Like the sugar in my coffee cup a Splash of coke in my jack, yeah, more than enough Uncle Sam goes and steals my money Good with a spoonful of your sweet honey And I'll be sitting pretty and rich on love Rain won't stop and the sun don't shine Hit a tough spot, baby, we'll be fine You in my arms is all I need Just a little bit of your love It's more than enough for me Man, I love those native, like, a lot smaller than the Snake Root Rivers we're catching, but there's no one here. It's such a cool little spot. Fortunately, guys, I'm going to say goodbye to our native cutthroat stream. It has been a tremendous weekend. That should be about it. I got a, I got a bit of a hike to get out of here. I want to thank you guys for watching. I know this is a longer video. Um, I like kind of like the movie style, I guess, short movie style. Uh, it's just easier in my mind to edit and combine everything that way. So... Like I said, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. That's kind of the style of content that I kind of imagined to be creating all year. My weekends are going to be doing cool stuff. I mean, my first longer weekend when I get like four or five days off of work, going to Yellowstone area. So that's going to be cool. But the road's just up there. However, we need to go that way. So. I think we'll just skirt up the hill, and uh, I'll catch you guys next time on some random ass adventure.
Though we ain't got much in a world, says you need a lot of stuff.